welcome, sext, sixth hour prayer every Thursday. What happens if I press that? Is it gonna, I just shared it with friends. Let's see who signs on. This is a new time for us. We've been getting kicked off of our live videos during the week uh, occasionally. But I think we're gonna be good today because I'm just on my phone and I'm not going through Zoom. I think Zoom is overloaded, but no Zoom today. So hopefully we get to ha hang out, and have a live moment together consistently during the week <laughs> for the first time in a while. How are you, Tori? Hi. I'm trying to like be energetic, but I don't feel super energetic today. Um, it's funny to just be like in my office alone for a couple of hours and then all of a sudden I'm staring at my phone live talking to my face. <laughs> Let's see if anyone else joins us. This is um, the noon hour. We're trying this out to see if anybody is able to join us um, for our once a week pastoral check-ins. These are going to be short and sweet. I really just want to check in with whoever does join and then just read a little something. One boy napping, another boy playing solo. Is this a good time for you, Tori? Right now it's just me and you. All right, well, um, I'm gonna just read what I have here. So I have a couple of poems and in the spirit of non-dualism. I'm pretending, Tori, I'm pretending like I'm just talking to you. <laughs> In the spirit of non-dualism, I'm going to read them both because they both seemingly have a different kind of message, but I think they're actually pretty similar. So the first poem is by Rolf Jacobson and, um, yeah, I'm doing pre-K. I'm doing pre-K homeschooling for real too. And it's like, it's legit. <laughs> We're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it takes up a big chunk of our day and I'm doing lesson planning and we're going for it. So I feel ya. Okay, so this first little poem is um, by Rolf Jacobson called When They Sleep. And I just, I just loved it. I needed to hear it. It's real short. It says, all people are children when they sleep. There's no war in them then. They open their hands and breathe in that quiet rhythm heaven has given them. They pucker their lips like small children and open their hands halfway. Soldiers and statesmen, servants and masters, the stars stand guard and a haze veils the sky a few hours when no one will do anybody harm. If only we could speak to one another then when our hearts are half open flowers, words like golden bees would drift in. God, teach me the language of sleep. And then the other little poem is a, is a excerpt by Rumi. And it says this, today, like every other day, we wake up empty and frightened. Don't open the door to the study and begin reading. Take down a musical instrument. Let the beauty we love be what we do. There are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep. And so one poem talks about the language of sleep and one says, don't go back to sleep. But I wrote this little prayer with both of them in mind and it just says this, God, Teach us the language of sleep that in our waking hours we may recognize your beauty. Through beauty may we be nourished. 
Through beauty may we be healed. Through beauty may we be energized. Through beauty may we liberate and be liberated. Amen. And so that's my little teeny tiny prayer. Like I said, we're going to keep these super short and sweet. These are, hi Phil, hi Tiffany. These are midday centering moments. Hi Jana. Jana got me these earrings. Um, these are midday centering moments that we're trying to do so you can just sort of have access to it even if you can't watch in real time you can um, you can pause when you have a moment think on this centering thought and hopefully have a new outlook for the rest of your day thank you Tori for sharing in the comments um, so I want you to take this mantra with you let the beauty we love be what we do. This is sort of what I took from Rumi's part of the portion of this poem. Let the beauty we love be what we do. And Rumi says there are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. So no matter what situation we're in, no matter what we believe or how we see the world or what's going on in our lives, there is some sort of access to some sort of beauty. And we have permission always in the spirit of gratitude to lean into that beauty. I think that beauty is part of what nourishes and heals and liberates us and gives us the energy to do the work that we do in the world. And so that's my little message and um, I hope people will go back and watch, but thanks for um, joining. And I just want to say about these earrings that are giving me so much joy. Um, Jana went to Mexico right before everything happened um, at the end of February. And her and I went to a movie the week we ended up going into quarantine. We went into quarantine on a Friday. And Jana and I went to a movie on a Monday. And she gave me these earrings. And I put them in my purse and then I got home and I hung my purse on a hook and I didn't really go anywhere that week. And then Friday it was like, whoa, the world turned upside down and we went into quarantine and I never used a purse. I mean, I've barely been anywhere. And when I do, I just sort of like bring my cards in. I don't like bring my whole big purse in. And the other day it, it had like fallen off the hook a little and things were hanging out of it. So I picked it up and the earrings were there and I had totally forgotten. So anyway, it was just like a gift, a little gift to me and a reminder of what was. Anyway, that was totally random, but I wanted to share. So yes, go watch yes, uh, wait, what? Go watch yesterday's video on YouTube. What, what, what video was yesterday? I, if you're talking about Anna Chelsea on Tuesday, I do want y'all to go back and watch those because they're so, so, so good. Please be watching those. She is a wealth of information. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a great day. Um, tomorrow morning, we will be doing happy hour hit at 630. Um, Sunday, we will continue... Um, we will continue our um, series and embodiment. And um, that's really all we have going this week. Tiffany, that quote is my favorite quote too. And it's on my business cards that I just have here because I don't have anybody to give them to. <laughs> but that's the quote that's on my card whenever I do give people my card. Anyway, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys.